So let me tell you the software which we are going to use throughout this course. First thing is Telegram desktop. So many of you already have Telegram on your mobile application which is completely fine. But in this course I'm going to use Telegram desktop version in order to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm going through. Now uh, in order to download uh, Telegram desktop software you can go to desktop.telegram.org and then uh, whatever your operating system is you can download the software for that. And installing software is very easy you just have to double click on the software and then software is going to get launched. Uh, once you start the Telegram interface then it is going to be looking something like this. As you can see this is how Telegram looks like when I'm running it on the desktop version so apart from this we are also going to use google collab so if you don't know about google collab you just need to understand that google collab is a an application which is provided by google and you can access it by going to research.google.com so for example either you can just uh, google google collab and then you are going to see this link and just right click on this open it in a new tab and then uh, it is going to ask you to sign in by using your Google account. So you have not signed in, it is probably going to give you an option of sign in. And if you have already signed in, then it is just going to show you something like this. Now here you can just click on new notebook. And once you click on new notebook, what it is going to do is it is going to open an interface in which you are going to code using Python program. So you can see we don't really need to install any software on our machine in order to learn Python programming and start interacting with uh, Telegram bot APIs. So throughout this course I'm going to use it and also uh, towards the later end of the course I'm going to show you how you can install Jupyter Notebook on your own computer in order to uh, avoid using collab.research.google.com. But I personally use collab.research.google.com a lot because it provides you a free GPU so whatever code you run actually runs on Google server so you don't really need to uh, bother about your server being very high performance server or your computer being very high performance computer okay so uh, just for a sample I'm going to write a sample uh, Python code here and you can see this is a sample Python code where we are just printing welcome message and then this is a play icon so I'm going to click here and then it is going to run this code and it is going to execute and process and going to show us whatever the outcome of this execution. So when it runs for the first time it is a little slower because a Google Collaboratory is setting up environment for you. Here you go you can see that we have already uh, got the output which is welcome and also here you can see ram and disk so this is the ram and disk which is allocated especially to your account and to your google uh, collab account which is uh, one completely allocated to you and you can make use of so that's it in this session from next session we are going to create telegram bot